Hello guys, this is Leo and for this tutorial we will go over how to create API and uh, this is a recap for the lab that we did um, on Tuesday. All right. So assuming that you have followed my tutorial and you have this um, cube build in Northwind um, Davis, then make sure you have a different naming for Northwind tutorial. Okay. Otherwise you're going to rewrite it. Um, so now what we want is um, and KPI that would um, notify I uh, well would give some nice visual on the orders, especially here on the orders count when the orders count is uh, is less than or more than fifteen percent from last uh, twelve month. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna just copy and sorry. Just copy and paste on things that I did in the in the lab. All right. Um, so here, go there. Now let's see. Uh, announcements and uh, those are the MDX queries I used. Okay. So we're going to create a new measure first called a um, target orders. I'm going to do it right now. Um, you go into your cube and then click on calculations. You're going to see a calculate. Do nothing about it. And then create a new member. All right. And now um, the new member should be target orders. Okay. And then this one is going to be inside of the expression. Uh, so basically it says um, if the parallel period is empty, then it's the original orders count. Otherwise, um, it's 1.15 times uh, the previous uh, period. Okay, it's the 12 months period. Sounds easy. And don't change anything after that. And just save the file and uh, you know um, process it. Would you like to continue? Sure. Okay. All right, deploying is successful and now we run it okay and then it says everything has um, succeeded and uh, what you what we can do now is uh, go into the SQL server management studio and then um, you know connect to the analysis service uh, it's connection MSI SQL and now this one has all the um, projects and we, what we want to do is go to Northwind tutorial. Uh, for those of you who are following along, it should be whatever um, name that you give for the project. Okay, Northwind tutorial. Uh, did I name it Northwind tutorial? Let me see. Uh, I named it Northwind tutorial. Okay, cool. Northwind. Where is that? So again, if you can't find it, then uh, whatever. How come I can't really find it? Oh, uh, I need to reconnect. Uh, let's see. Disconnect, connect, and service connection, and say SQL. And then for all the devices, I should have a notion in tutorial over here. Okay, that's good. And now new query, MDX. And suppose that we can we can do something like uh, this one. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So basically, it says select measures dot order count, measures dot target order on columns, order date dot months dot members on rows from cells, right? Uh, just wanna make sure that order has a month. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then now we execute it, and it's going to say, all right, those are the comparisons of orders count and uh, um, target orders. All right, it seems to be okay. Okay, and uh, now we have tested that our new measurement is working. We will go back to uh, the data to, uh, to the data tools. 
And now uh, we need to build our KPI. So new KPI. And then the name is going to be uh, the name is going to be uh, let's see what the name is. Order number. Okay. Order number. And you don't really need to have the brackets. Cool. And then the value expression is going to be really simple. Just orders, orders now. All right. And the go expression is just the target orders. Easy. And now for the status, we want the traffic light. So traffic light is here. And then uh, we're going to use this for status. So it basically says um, if the, if the uh, actual order number um, divided by the go is greater than 0 0.95, then it's a green light. So 1 is green light. Um, if it's less than 0 0.85, then it's a red light. Otherwise, it's a yellow light. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. Sounds easy. And now for the trend, we're going to do the same thing as copy and paste um, from my announcement. So case the case thing is basically an if and else. Okay, so it says if the KPI value of order number minus the KPI goal of order number divide by KPI go of order number system or equal to negative zero, negative 0 0.2, then negative one means going down, right? Otherwise, it's one. Um, for anything else, that's going steady. All right, so this is just, just for visualization. Okay, so now we process our cube and hopefully I've done everything correctly. We run it, should be working. And now if we go into the browser view over here, uh, you're going to see this status. It seems like everything is going pretty well. Um, but if you go actually into order date, and hair key into month, operator is equal to, uh, let's try, I remember this one is a red light. So click on the blank area and you're going to see a red light that's trending down, all right? Um, so this is how you actually create KPIs in the SQL Server analysis service. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have questions, ask Dr. Goldsey or me um, through email, and, uh, uh, and that's it. Um, for your, um, let me think what to say. So for your textbook example, however, um, you will get into trouble because it's not really useful. Um, all right, um, I'll explain it in the next video, okay? So this video is primarily talking about target orders and the, um, and the order number KPI. So to get back to from browser view to form, you would just click on the button right next to it, okay? Um, all right. So that, uh, that is our overview for order number KPI. In the next video, I'll be talking about um, the textbook example. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.